We are here today at the amazing, spectacular, breathtaking, and every other adjective you can think of showroom for Best Events. If you're planning your holiday parties, um, any party or wedding event in general, Best Events Showroom is a great place to come and see what they can really put together for you. Moving into events taking place this week, the holiday tours continue at the Lincoln Tallman House. They're open daily, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. They're closed Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And it's a great chance to get a glimpse into the grand lifestyle of the Civil War. They've got a white tree from 1915. They've got a tree filled with over 500 stunning ornaments. They have the dining room decorated as it might be for Christmas. Just a great way to take that peek into the holidays and a little bit of history. On Friday, the River City's Jazz Band will be at the Janesville Performing Arts Center at 7 p.m. This is a fundraiser brought by the Janesville Rotary Club. They're going to bring River City's Jazz Band into JPEC to raise funds to fight polio worldwide. Tickets for the performance only are $20, and for $49, you can do the performance and a post-performance party at the gallery. And the Armory will have a meal before the concert, and uh, that meal will include a donation to Polio Plus. So you'll want to get all of that information from our website and find out how to best take advantage of this great show and support a great cause in curing polio worldwide. On Friday and Saturday night, you're going to have a great opportunity to witness a Victorian Holiday House Spectacular. Friday from 5 to 8, Saturday from 4 to 8, and next Saturday the 18th from 4 to 8, the home at 103 North Chatham Street is going to open up as a fundraiser for the Rock County Humane Society. You can tour the historic home filled with 25 Christmas trees, a Christmas village, five doll houses, a North Pole display, complete with Santa's workshop, and a mini Rock County Humane Society shelter, and many more decorations. Admission is free with a donation to the Rock County Humane Society, and that donation can be cash or a physical donation is also welcome. Canned food, cat food, non-clumping litter, bleach, laundry detergent, copy paper. They've got a great wish list on the website. We'll give you a link to that. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the Janesville Jets play at home at the Janesville Ice Arena. Friday and Saturday, they're going to be playing the St. Louis Bandits. Friday at 7.30, Saturday at 7, and then at 2 on Sunday, they're going to play the Michigan Warriors. On Saturday at the YMCA, there's going to be a winter ballroom extravaganza. Runs from 7 to 9. The doors open at 6.45. They're expecting a pretty good crowd. And right down there at the downtown YMCA at the Parker Hall Gym, everyone is invited to perform in an unforgettable night of ballroom dancing at the first annual winter ballroom extravaganza. They're going to have open ballroom dancing following an exhibition for performers and spectators. Tickets for those 12 years and up are just $3 and they're available at the door. 11 and under are free. They do have a dress code. Performers will be in formal attire, so they ask that spectators dress at least business casual and up to formal wear. There'll be lots more information on the website about this very neat event. And on Saturday from 8 to 11, the Holiday Cookie Walk will take place at Sem. St. William's Parish. They're going to have homemade holiday cookies and specialty items for sale right there in the parish hall and a nice traditional holiday cookie walk. On Sunday, it's my favorite event of the season. The community singing of the Walk-In Messiah will be Sunday at 7 p.m. at the Janesville Performing Arts Center. There's no admission, there's just a free will offering at the door, and singers are welcome to participate, and others are welcome to just come and enjoy the performance. You can bring your own copy of the music from the Messiah or borrow a copy when you arrive at JPEC. Again, it's a free event. The Janesville Craig and Parker High Schools provide the music for the concert. Local soloists perform the solo parts, but the audience provides the chorus in the Messiah. Also on Sunday, it's the Sights and Sounds of Christmas at Best Events Banquet Facility. It's $18 for adults and $5 for children. This is by reservations only, so you'll want to call and make sure you have a reservation for that event. But it's a great dinner and musical performance featuring the can-do singers and players. It'll definitely get you in the holiday spirit, fabulous entertainment, and a delicious meal. They'll also have some handmade items for sale. And on Sunday at 2 p.m., the Daylilies a cappella chorus will perform at First Congregational Church. It's free and open to the public, and it's a great vocal fusion group that will perform and definitely get you in that holiday spirit. Now through December 23rd, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at the Janesville Armory. The show runs through the 23rd, but their matinee performance is only on December 22nd and 23rd. Great classic Christmas story and great food. On Monday, Van Gelder Bus Company will do their annual Christmas lights tour. It begins at 6 p.m. and this tour is only available to those who are unable to drive. So they'll have pickup locations throughout Janesville and you'll want to catch our website for more information on those specific pickup points. But it's a great way to see a free tour of all of the Christmas lights throughout Janesville, uh, courtesy of Van Gelder Bus Company. If you want more information on these and other events, just visit our website.